700,000 Michigan workers are injured each year in the workplace, and getting benefits might not be as easy as you think. And this week's Know the Law, attorney Tom Sinus is here with what you need to know to protect yourself. This is a common problem. It sure is. All of us work, or hope to work, and workplaces are still very dangerous places to work. In Michigan, we have 100,000 people, more or less, every year that are injured on the job, 3 million people in the United States each year. So going to work is still a dangerous proposition for a lot of people. And so the question we have to ask ourselves are, am I going to work at a safe place? Well. For a long time, it was very, very hard to know whether or not the place you worked was safe, meaning did that place have a history of problems and injuries and deaths at, at the workplace? Because it was information that was maintained by OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health mm -hmm. Administration, and that was really OSHA's private data. Well, there's a new rule that went into effect on August 10th that makes workplace injury and death statistics publicly available for the first time ever. So if you're thinking about going to work for a particular employer and you're wondering, is this a safe place to work? Do they have a history of problems? You can now go to www.osha.gov and you can look up the statistics of workplace safety issues that a particular employer had. Well, let's talk about the benefits now. You say they aren't as easy to collect as you might think. Right. What people don't realize is when you are injured on the job, you have really only one remedy, and that is to collect workers' compensation benefits. Mm -hmm. You cannot sue your employer as a general proposition. So then the question is, well, how easy it is, to, is it to get workers' compensation benefits? And the answer to that is harder and harder and harder all the time. The benefits have been eroded since the 1980s. Mm -hmm. uh, the workers' comp tribunal where people go to litigate these cases is a place that many commentators have said is increasingly stacked against the worker. Right. And the benefits themselves are capped at certain monetary amounts or certain periods of time. So you don't want to end up with a workers' compensation claim, right? To be fair, there's been a lot of a abuse in that field too where people have claimed injuries that they're getting paid for where they haven't uh, you know proven this and, and we've seen 60 minutes and things like that where they've chased it which is hurting everybody in the long run absolutely it's it's it, there's problems on both sides mm -hmm. and so the message to you if you're not in the system is don't get in the system right to not get in the system you don't want to go work at a place that has a history of injuries and deaths that's one thing you can at least try to do at the beginning when you're making the decision hey is this where I want to go make a paycheck. But it is becoming increasingly hard to get benefits. Legitimately. It is. It is. Uh, there's uh, some articles in the Detroit Free Press. There have been a number of commentators saying that in Michigan in particular, it is becoming harder and harder for e legitimately injured mm -hmm. workers to get the workers' compensation benefits that they used to be able to get a few years ago. If somebody has a question about being injured on the job or the benefits they're receiving, they can give you a call. They sure can. Grand Rapids, 616-301-3333. They can find us online at sinusdramus.com or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. Tom, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Christian.